We're making flourless egg white keto bread with tahini this time. Let's go. I have been enjoying a peanut butter version of this bread for weeks, but I feel like it's time to have a change and I wanted a more bland taste. Now, this tahini bread does have a sesame seed taste, but as you know, sesame seeds are kind of tasteless anyway. In this video though, I'm also gonna show you how it toasts and how it freezes and what it looks like after defrosted. The nutritional information and your shopping list is listed in the description box. Let's get into the recipe now. When you open the bottle of tahini, you wanna make sure it's mixed well before you add it to the rest of the ingredients because the oil does seem to always be floating on the top of the bottle. Now add nine egg whites or 308 grams of carton egg whites or six large whole eggs to a bowl, then one cup of organic tahini, one tablespoon of baking powder and one tablespoon of sweetener. I feel like the sweetener is a must with tahini to get this bread to taste more like regular bread. Whisk to combine for about one minute, then scrape down the sides of the bowl to incorporate all of the ingredients, then whisk for another minute. Give the batter a stir and this will knock out some of the air bubbles, then pour all of the batter into a standard sized lined loaf tin. Spread the batter so it's level in the tin, or you can smooth it off with a spatula. Optionally, you can add a sprinkle of sesame seeds and I went with black. Then cover with foil, creating a tenting effect so your bread has room to rise. Then we're going to remove the foil and you wanna brown the top, so do bake it for another five minutes. Just want to show you all sides of this bread. You can see from the horizontal line here how much this bread rises and it's baked very evenly. And again, the crust is beautifully smooth. To freeze, just wrap the loaf in cling or saran wrap and you can store it in the freezer for about a month. And when you're ready, Defrost it naturally on your bench top or kitchen counter because I feel like defrosting in the microwave won't give you the best results. Mine always turns out like the day I baked it this way. Also, this bread toasts quicker than regular bread. I set my toaster to a strength of two for a medium level toasting. I know a lot of you have been wanting to see an alternative to pita butter and I feel that this is really good. I hope you get to try it and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.